I just saw last night that, uh, well, I didn't watch it, so I actually saw this morning, but Kevin Holland tapped out to however you say the dude's name, Hocus, Docus, Docus, Hocus, Hocus, I don't know, I don't know, but he tapped out to him, and they deemed it a no contest because earlier in the fight before the tap out, there was a headbutt, and I'm sorry, I just woke up, it's six in the morning, uh, work. Anyways, they keep putting me on earlier than I tell them to. And he tapped out, okay? <laughs> he tapped out. And people are mad because they deemed it a no contest because of a headbutt that happened earlier. Now, the way I feel about it, I'm going to try to be not so vulgar. I'm going to try not to be rude. But look, guys, shh. you guys keep complaining about everything. You know, you guys complain about the ring girls and the ring girls... They're just a net zero, you know? They're not a negative, they're not a positive. If anything, they are a positive, you know? There's a lot of guys in MMA, and, you know, they're attractive women. So let, let's let's not try to do that one thing where we act like we're not attracted to them, you know, just, just to try to prove a point. It's like, come on. They're not a negative in any way. Like, in any way, they're not a negative. And they're a it, Anyways. <laughs> Look, you need to be quiet, okay? Because this is good. This is good for the MMA community. Some people are like, oh, no, he tapped. He he earned the victory. Shut the fuck up. Would he have earned that victory had he not gotten... And I didn't watch the whole thing. But I mean, I can't help but believe a man getting headbutted, and I think he got really hurt by the headbutt, from what I hear. I can't help but believe that right after that, there's a first-round submission following it. I can't help but feel like the headbutt had something to do with it. And it seems like in every other sport that is much less dangerous, mind you, has this thing where you can review plays and then overturn them if the play was called wrong by the ref. But for some reason, the most dangerous sport and the one sport where you work the hardest for three months and risk injury for three months just so you can fight on one night... You don't get that. You don't get reviews. Even though it means more. It means more to lose in MMA than it does to, to lose in baseball. Because you get 160 plus games to lose and, and win in baseball. In football, you get 12. You only fight two, three, four times a year in MMA. It was crazy just to fight five times last year for Kevin Holland. The one sport where the decision matters more than any other sport. Yet we don't have this system where we can review things that happen. And people don't believe in that either. And that's stupid. Why not? If someone actually deserved to win, give them the fucking win. Because now this is going under the principle that, all right, another human's fuck-ups. The judge's fuck-ups. The ref's fuck-ups. They go completely you know what? They don't even get to. They don't even fuck up officially by the rules. They don't mess up. If they mess up, it, it's the rules. They're absolute. They're basically God. But if the fighters fuck up, oh! But the fighters are the ones who put in so much. They're the ones who risk it all. These people who don't risk anything, they get to mess up and nothing gets overturned. But the the fighters mess up and it gets caught. Oh, we, we gotta overturn that. Come on, guys. You gotta start. You like you gotta start holding the judges and the refs accountable. And this is a way that you do it. The ref fucked up. He didn't call it at that time. And he got overturned. Now, had Holland tapped and it was a win, everyone would have been bitching and moaning about the fact that, well, why didn't he stop it after the headbutt? That was clearly a really bad headbutt. He should have said something. Y'all just bitch and moan about everything. Come on, man. MMA community is starting to act like a bunch of little pussies. And y'all need to get your head straight. Get some logic. This is good. You need, we need to start overturning things. And and these fights where people actually won, but they were caught, like John Jones versus Dominic Reyes, shit like that needs to start getting overturned, reviewed by people in film, and looked at critically under the official rules, and look who did more damage, who landed more. And then if... The, if Okay, if damage was equal, if, if landing was pretty much equal, then you go on to the next thing in the rules that it... And then you go review it, and it's like, okay, yeah, no. This has to be overturned. Because 
they put in all that time and the value of the decision is infinitely more important than that of football, of that of basketball, of that of hockey, of that of soccer or football, or, or that of uh, of baseball, or any other sport, because they compete so many times in a year. You only compete three, four, two times a year. And you're risking all of that for you not to get the decision that you earned? That's bullshit, dude. That's fucking bullshit, and I'm tired of people acting like that's okay. It's not okay. So, yeah, that's my take on this. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, and I'm out. Peace.